Welcome back. Let's invent our own exceptions. This is so powerful and simple. In my except onepy we are making a new exception class, non-positive number, so that it has the name I want it to have, because I'm going to be, again, writing get positive number, but this time I want to raise that non-positive number. All you have to do is make a class with a name you want and inherit from something in the exception hierarchy that makes sense. For this one, I think arithmetic error is the correct one. And I'm adding nothing else, only that class definition line with a pass. Now, when I do get positive number, this is the same, all this is the same, but I will be raising a non positive number. And I am giving two arguments to the initializer for my non-positive number. And realize that because I have no initializer in my non-positive number, the arithmetic error will be the initializer. No, it doesn't have one either. It goes all the way up to the exception. In my except two, we again are going to make our non-positive number dependent on arithmetic error. But this time we are going to put in a magic initializer. Maybe we want to track all our non-positive numbers. And so maybe I would open a database and track them there. Whatever I want to do, I can now grab the attention at the time when a non-positive number is raised. And do what we want. This line 8 is important to you because if you make a magic initializer, then you want it to have this footprint, just like that, star arcs. That is how all of the exceptions are initialized. But if you want it to work, you have to call the magic initializer up your hierarchy. So here I am just passing along the arguments to the arithmetic errors magic initializer, which goes all the way up to the big exception class. And here I am non-positive number times plus equals one. So we know that I'm keeping track of them. Now then, the magic string, once again, I give that to return to be printed or displayed. Now this is the same, but the output isn't. Here we see this rude program in action. The first time you give a non-positive number, you're told you messed up one time. This one's correct. This one's a regular old value error. And here again, two times, three times, very rude. Okay, you are on to give the one exercise a try. Shouldn't take you too long. You want to make a bad data exception that inherits from value error. And then you'll just redo the last exercise using your bad data error. Well, give that a try, and I'll see you when you're ready to look at my solution.